Hello students, we'll uh, take up one more problem in the isometric projection, problem number 13, which is referred from VT primer. It says here, there is a cone of base diameter 40 and I 50 centrally over a frustum of a pentagonal pyramid of base side 40 mm and top side 35 mm and I 55 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combined solids. It means here there are two solids. One is a cone which is placed over a frustum of a pentagonal pyramid. So whenever we say frustum, there will be two pentagonal faces, the bottom and the top. So the base, that's a bottom one, which is the 40 mm side, 45 mm side and the top face is a 30 mm side which are separated with a distance of 55 mm. So to start with this, whenever we get a, a polygons like a hexagon or a pentagon or a triangle, we need to have a 2D sketch of that one and it should be inscribed in a rectangle. Then we take up that as a reference in order to do the pentagon in a isometric scale. So to start with, let's take like a line and a, a dark line. So in order to do the pentagon, it's a inscribed in a circle that is 360. Number of sides is a 5. So 360 divided by 5 will get a 72 degree. So to start with, uh, the bottom base side of that one is a 45. Mm. The side of length will remain 45. The first angle will remain 0. The next will be again 45. Enter. And the first angle will be 72. Then again, the side will be 45. The angle will be 72 star 2. Okay. Then again, 45, 72 star 3. Then again, 45, 72 star 4 you can give. Or else, you can just go with the end line also. 72 star or also fine. So we'll get a pentagon like this. So once you get the pentagon, we need to have a inscribe this one in a, a rectangle. Say let start from here. We need to have a just horizontal line, and from here just a vertical line. Go to the trim option. Trim up these two. Repeat the same from here. From the end one vertical line and one horizontal line go to the trim option trim this okay so we got a one side and it is symmetric about this one so let's have a line from here it is called as a bisector let's select a part of this one and we can go to the mirror option with respect to this one just mirror it so we'll get the whole part so when this one is done we just delete the median so now let's start having a dimension here smart dimension the first one is a side length and the next one is the next line that is 13.95 uh, let's zoom that properly and again this will remain as it is so let's take from this here so it's a 42.8 and 26.45 and here when it comes to this one we can have a individual also or else we can have a single line again which is going to act as a midpoint okay if i take a distance between this and this it will be total that is 72.81 okay so either you can take a, any one okay or you can take a middle of that one anything is fine at last uh, we need a total length of that one okay so when this one is done okay so come back to again a line to start with the isometric as we have already uh, uh, discussed in the many problems first we need to take a one horizontal line then to start with the, again our thin lines only that is a point one p only so as we have uh, seen it in a problem number 11 in the um, hexagon so to start with uh, always we'll start from here a this is B, this is the C, this is the D, 
and this is E and uh, this is F and uh, this is G this is H and this one is the I so you can just see here each one is represented with one alphabet just for a reference okay and we'll start with the A and we'll go with the anti-clockwise so we have followed the same thing with respect to yeah, the hexagon also so now if you if we take a line from here now to start with this one okay so we'll start from a from a to b the length is 42.5 okay so the length is 42.8 enter the angle will be of 30 degree first line and from b to c it is 26.45 26.45 enter the angle will remain same so now we are at the end c okay now it takes a 150 degree line so first uh, either right side right you can take up a, a direct line from here to here or you can take a discontinuous anything is fine so let's select like, like discontinuous 36.41 enter 150 degree enter again 36.41 enter 150 degree enter so that line completed we are now at a point E. Okay, now again it is a 150 degree that is minus 150 degree line. So coming down from E to F, it's a 26.45 enter minus 150 enter. Then from F to G, it is 42.8 enter minus 150 enter. Okay, so now we are at a point G. So here we have a three lengths from G to H, S to I, and then so let's say from G to H it's 13.91 enter it's minus 30 enter then 45 enter minus 30 enter and then 13.91 enter minus 30 enter. now we are done with that rectangle so the same procedure the edge is here so you just move your cursor on each line okay so we'll get the edge the left side first make that one a dark line next a line with a 0.5 thickness just to differentiate from the end we'll just move on this line wherever you get end point click here and from here wherever you get the end point click here then when you move on this one wherever you get end point click here then last to this one here yeah. okay so this is how exactly we're going to get now this is a prism now this is not a prism if it is a prism you would have taken a length from the corner corner of a pentagon so now when it whenever it comes to a prism we need to take the height from the center so to locate the center of the pentagon we know like we need to have the bisector you take any of the two corners say like this corner mid of this line okay and from this corner mid of this line Okay, so now this is the center. If you want, you can just trim off these two. You get the center here. Okay, so now what is the height they have given? So let's take a center line. That's a type 3. From the center to the screen, it's a 55. Okay, so 55 and we are told, right? So this is the height means it's a 90. So this is the height here. And here, whenever it comes to uh, like a polygon symbol, so we can reduce other than the uh, rect this one rectangle or a triangle so if it is a hexagon or a pentagon or a circle or a square we can use a command called scale command in order to reduce the size of this one you, may, you are not supposed to drop it drop a one more pentagon of a 35 inch side so what we can do here is so we can select a pentagon along with the center line and we can go to the scale command and copy on because we need that original copy and in the scale factor the one which we need that is 35 divided by the one which we have is the 45 enter okay so you will get one pentagon for a time being just keep it at the bottom center itself okay now you go to the move command now it's copy off from the center to the tip of the line okay so this is how exactly you to Get this one now take a line which is a 0.5 mm zoom the both the pentagons properly and 
try to join the corner to the corner. One, the corner, it should be continuous. One, one two, so from corner, from this corner, and from this corner, one. And anyway, these two lines will not be visible. So now itself you just change the thickness to the point one three and join. Okay. Now as we are told, right, if the lines are getting confused, so we can just even trim off the lines. Okay. So these many things will not be. Okay, so this is how exactly the pentagon is going to appear. Okay. So this is the first one. And once you complete this one, if, if you don't know how to draw a cone, you can just convert this one to the uh, isometric scale, you will get a half of the mark in that. Okay, so the next one is we are told there is a cone, cone of base diameter 40 and height is a 50. So, as we have already discussed in the problem number 11, to draw the cone, okay, or a circular one, first thing is we need to have a square equal to the base diameter. So, let us say like we will start from outside the uh, boundary. So, we will just click and we need a 40, enter, 30, enter, 40, enter, 150, enter, 40, enter, minus 150, enter. 30 enter minus 30 enter. So you got a, a square which is equal to the base diameter. Now let us go with the tangent arc method where we will go with the midpoint to the midpoint and from the midpoint to the midpoint from the midpoint to the midpoint. From the midpoint to the okay, so this is the right copy you want to do. Now just uh, drop one horizontal line to look at the center of the uh, circle. So now let's check with the axis line to the midpoint. And the height they have given here it is a how much it is? It's a 50 mm. So we have got back here, it's a 50 enter 90. Once the height is taken, just change the line to the continuous one and just zoom the bottom area and drop it like it. Okay. So now once one line is done, so you can go to the mirror command, select this line, this one, okay. you can see it is mirrored off. Okay. So now we need to place this one centrally over this pentagon, so go to the move command, so let us copy off from the bottom center to get in the center of the pentagon. Okay. Now, our duty is to just zoom this one. If you don't want these lines, you can fill it out. Okay. So, go to the trim command. Not visible, not visible, not visible. Just zoom this one properly. Not visible, not visible, not visible, not visible. Not visible. Okay. Go to the screen. The form parts properly and send to one side. Okay, so now if you want to just change these ones. Okay, so without fail, as we said, angle between this line, this line is 30 degrees. And this line and this line is 30 degrees. Then select everything and go to the scale command, copy of point 8164. Okay. So, we take the 
the same time okay. uh, job is done we will save it and we will get a full map okay so these are exactly we can do the things so if it is a prism you can take the height from the corner if it is a pyramid the first one of a pyramid you need to take the height from the center then you need to 